just something magical about London that no other city can compare to. Its vibrant energy draws you in, beckoning you to explore and discover all the amazing experiences the city has to offer. From iconic landmarks to hidden gems tucked away in back streets, London truly is a sightseer's paradise. In this ultimate travel guide, we're going to show you our top 10 tourist attractions in London to make the most of your trip. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our travel channel, and enable notifications. Let's start. Number 10, Buckingham Palace. Buckingham Palace is one of the most iconic and recognizable buildings in the world. It is located in the heart of London, England, and serves as the official residence of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. Every year, millions of tourists flock to the Grand Palace to witness its impressive architecture and learn more about British history. The palace was originally built in 1703 by John Sheffield, Duke of Buckingham and Normanby, as a private home. Today, it stands as not only an important royal residence, but also an important symbol of Britain's rich history. The exterior of Buckingham Palace is quite remarkable. It is constructed from distinctive yellow bricks with Baroque-style window frames that are framed with intricate white stonework. There are 775 rooms within the palace walls, making it the largest occupied palace in Europe. The public entrance, known as the Grand Entrance, features a stunning balcony that overlooks a large fountain and garden. Number 9, Big Ben and the Houses of Parliament Big Ben and the Houses of Parliament in London are iconic symbols of the United Kingdom. Located near the River Thames, Big Ben is a clock tower that contains a large bell that rings out hourly to mark the time. The Houses of Parliament are two buildings, the Palace of Westminster and St. Stephen's Tower, which contain chambers where members of the British government need to discuss legislation. One of the most recognizable features of these landmarks is their neo-Gothic style architecture, which makes them stand out from their more modern surroundings, as well as being popular and beautiful destinations. Both Big Ben and the Houses of Parliament are important locations for ceremonial events, such as state openings and royal weddings. Visitors can explore many aspects of these landmarks with guided tours offered by the Houses of Parliament and Big Ben himself. These tours take you inside some parts of these buildings, giving insights into life in Victorian Britain when they were constructed. From viewing royal regalia to learning about famous historical figures who have visited or done important work there, there is plenty to discover on a tour around Big Ben and the Houses of Parliament. Number 8. The Tower of London The Tower of London is one of the most iconic landmarks in Britain, and it holds a special place in the hearts of Londoners. Situated on the banks of the River Thames, this ancient fortress has been witness to countless battles, kings and queens, and even modern-day tourists. Since its establishment by William the Conqueror in 1066, the tower has served as a castle, prison, armory, treasury, and even an execution ground. It has been home to some of England's most famous prisoners, such as Anne Boleyn and Sir Walter Raleigh. Today, visitors can explore all four corners of the historic landmark. The White Tower is perhaps the most famous building within the grounds and houses. Many artifacts from England's long history, including armor used by Henry VIII and Edward I, as well as a set of royal Jews collected over a century. Other buildings within feature exhibitions dedicated to life at court during Tudor times, and displays about what life was like for those kept prisoner there. Guides dressed in period costumes often lead tours around the ground, which give visitors a greater insight into why it remains such an important part of Britain's history today. Number 7. Trafalgar Square Trafalgar Square is a public space that is located in the center of London, England. It is considered to be one of the most iconic landmarks in the city and is renowned for its historical significance, vibrant atmosphere, and stunning architecture. It has become a popular tourist destination and also serves as a gathering place for performances, special events, protests, and festivals throughout the year. The center of Trafalgar Square features Nelson's Column, a monument dedicated to Admiral Lord Nelson, who died during the Battle of Trafalgar. The monument stands atop a plinth surrounded by four bronze lions which were sculpted by Edwin Henry Lancier between 1867 and 1868. In addition to being an iconic landmark, with many monuments dedicated to historical figures. Trafalgar Square is also home to several pubs, restaurants, and cafes, where visitors can enjoy delicious meals while soaking up all the history surrounding them. There are even street performers providing entertainment throughout the day, so visitors can enjoy plenty of activities while there. Number 6. Westminster Abbey 
Westminster Abbey is a large and impressive Gothic church located in London, England. It has been the traditional location for coronations of British monarchs since 1066. The Abbey is also the resting place for many notable figures in the history of Britain, including 70 monarchs, statesmen, writers, scientists, and military leaders. The Abbey itself is a mixture of architectural styles that span nearly a millennium. The oldest parts date back to the 11th century, while other parts were added over the course of centuries up until modern times. Inside its walls, you can find beautiful stained glass windows, intricate carvings from different eras, and works from renowned artists like Michelangelo and Canova. Number 5. The National Gallery The National Gallery is one of London's greatest cultural attractions and has been home to an impressive collection of fine art since its doors first opened in 1824. Located in the heart of Trafalgar Square, it houses a vast range of works with some of the world's most celebrated artists, including Leonardo da Vinci, Monet, and Michelangelo. Visitors can explore a variety of galleries filled with classical, modern, and contemporary art from around the world. At the National Gallery, you can find paintings that span periods from the 12th century to the present day. Its permanent collection is divided into six main sections, Early Renaissance, High Renaissance, Baroque, French 18th century painting, German 19th century painting, and 21st century modernism. There are also several temporary exhibitions throughout the year showcasing artwork from different eras and countries. The National Gallery offers free admission to all visitors, so there's no excuse not to visit this amazing museum. You can also purchase souvenirs such as books, postcards, mugs, and t-shirts to commemorate your trip. Perfect for taking home as a reminder of your time spent exploring one of London's true gems. Number 4. St. Paul's Cathedral St. Paul's Cathedral is one of the most iconic landmarks in London and has been a fixture of the city's skyline since 1675. The original St. Paul's was destroyed in the Great Fire of London in 1666, but was rebuilt in its present form under the guidance of Sir Christopher Wren. St. Paul's is renowned for its breathtaking dome roof, which rises up to 111 meters and creates a magnificent view over the city. Inside, visitors can take a closer look at its baroque details, from ornate carvings to intricate stonework and stained glass windows. The cathedral also houses a number of significant pieces of art, including statues by Sir Jacob Epstein and John Bernie Phillip, as well as murals by William Dice and Daniel MacLeese. Visitors can also learn about St. Paul's history through exhibits detailing its role in World War II and other major events over the years. While admiring the building's stunning architecture, it is easy to see why St. Paul's Cathedral remains an enduring symbol of London's grandeur. Number 3. Hyde Park and Kensington Gardens Hyde Park and Kensington Gardens are two of the most iconic and beloved parks located in London. The two parks are located next to each other, connected by a bridge over the Serpentine Lake, and offer a variety of activities for visitors to enjoy. Hyde Park is the larger of the two, covering an area of 350 acres. It is home to countless green spaces with plenty of trees, flowers, and grass areas, ideal for picnicking or sunbathing. There are also a number of monuments and statues throughout the park that commemorate key moments in British history. Kensington Gardens, on the other hand, is much smaller in size, measuring only 270 acres. It was originally part of Hyde Park but became a separate entity in 1728 when Queen Carolyn made it part of her private garden. Kensington Gardens has many elements similar to those found in Hyde Park, including flower beds and sculptures as well as numerous historical monuments, like Queen Victoria's statue at Kings Road Bridge entrance. Visitors can also find an impressive array of flora including rose gardens, wildflower meadows, fountains, ponds, water features, rock gardens, and tree lane pathways that provide shaded areas during hot summer days. In addition to its natural beauty, Kensington Gardens offers plenty of activities including tennis courts, mini golf courses, and playgrounds, making an ideal spot for families with children looking for some outdoor fun. Number 2. British Museum The British Museum, located in the heart of London, is a treasure trove of history and culture. It houses a vast collection of artifacts from around the world, ranging from prehistoric works of art to ancient Egyptian mummies. Established in 1753, it's one of the oldest museums in existence, and has served as an important educational resource for centuries. Its permanent collection includes over 8 million objects from all over the globe, making one of the largest collections in the world. Visitors to the museum can explore its galleries and discover fascinating works from various time periods and cultures. The museum's most famous exhibition is probably its Egyptian collection, which features some spectacular mummies, scaphagophagi, and jewelry that date back thousands of years. The British Museum also offers learning opportunities for visitors through lectures and tours on topics, such as archaeology and anthropology. The British Museum is not just an educational institution, but also a cultural site, filled with stories waiting to be unearthed. Number 1. 
the London Eye. The London Eye is a must-see attraction for any traveler visiting London. Standing at 135 meters tall, the giant Ferris wheel offers breathtaking views of the city, including landmarks such as Big Ben and the Houses of Parliament. One tip for visiting the London Eye is to book your tickets in advance, especially during peak tour season. This will save you time and ensure that you don't miss out on the opportunity to ride the Eye. Another tip is to go at sunset. As the view of the city at this time is particularly beautiful, and the crowds are generally thinner. If you're looking for some travel inspiration, consider combining your visit to the London Eye with a river cruise among the Thames. This will give you a unique perspective of the city and allow you to see many of London's famous landmarks from a different angle. And don't forget to bring a camera, as the views from the top of the eye are truly unforgettable. Overall, the London Eye is an iconic attraction that should not be missed. It's a great way to get an overview of the city in a perfect way to end a busy day of sightseeing in London. Check out our other videos for more travel inspiration. See you in the next video. Take care.